Rich Tarani here with the TMC Roadshow. Thanks for watching. We're in the uh, San Jose 2012 edition. On our program is Tunjai Sill, the VP of Business Development at Asia. Uh, Tunjai, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So, um, your company makes uh, solutions that helps uh, DSL providers provide uh, higher levels of service uh, via existing connections in order to generate higher levels of revenue per user. That's an excellent summary. Fantastic. And you know, from where you sit in the market, yeah. you're providing service or you're providing products to all these carriers. You probably are uh, in a great position to recognize trends in the market. And I'm curious, what sorts of things have you seen? Um, absolutely. So the, there, are a couple of, there are a couple of major um, changes happening. So one of them is the adoption of um, video, over-the-top video um, services um, through the internet connection. Sure. Um, and the other one is decentralization of computing, basically anywhere, any device, um, right. roaming of applications and services. So e in order to um, get these big changes um, in line with the end user uh, wants and desires, uh, you have to provide an end-to-end -end, uh, reliable service. So what and, you're saying yes. is basically over the top is going over uh, connections which are not necessarily managed, of yeah. high quality Absolute. or managed and so, the, so that the end user ends up with um, connection quality issues potentially. Ab absolutely. And they're you frustrated. Do, absolutely. You do not want to see a please wait sign when you're watching your favorite sports game or um, comedy show. Or your movie or wh whatever absolutely. it is that you're, yes. you're watching. Absolutely. So um, the major chunk of the problem is actually, and it's happening in the home. So the Wi-Fi networks are over congested. If you actually look up uh, the number of networks available to you at any given point in the metropolitan area, you'll see 20, 25, 30 um, networks. And what that does is it pollutes the environment, the electrical environment, and as a Overall result, you get everybody gets less bandwidth and less reliable solutions. So, our core business is about uh, recognizing these interference and noise issues, and provide models to mitigate this problem. So now we're applying that on to the Wi-Fi networks. So that's one of the trends that uh, we've identified and built on. So. The initial field trials have been very successful. We had a, a large trial in a major uh, Central European country and another one in a, a major emerging country. So that's one path we're Great. pursuing. Um, another path is uh, to be able to provide the tools um, that have been traditionally available to telco customers, to the web customers and the content providers. So that has also been a missing link. So a, a content provider, while del delivering its video to the end user, uh, has no visibility into what is going on the receiving end. So what we're, so that's another trend we've identified, and what we're doing about that is we're uh, working with the telco partners and these content providers. They're providing those tools to uh, secure a more reliable delivery and hopefully free up some more bandwidth so the end users can actually um, see an uninterrupted um, show or video. Excellent. Yes. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank this you very much. Great.